Hey everyone, and welcome to another video on the Nice Guys channel. I'm your host, Brugly the Nice Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the weirdest backrooms levels on the wiki dot that I've found so far. I think this series might be pretty fun to do, so if you do enjoy it, make sure to let me know down below in the comments, but you can probably guess by the name what the series is going to be about. This is going to be where I talk about the weirdest levels that I run across that do weird things, or look weird, or just are described really wackily, or just, they're weird. But yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Up first for the video is a level that a ton of people over on my Discord server have sent me in the past few days. If you want to join the Discord, it'll be in the description. And I literally thought that it was a joke at first, but apparently it's real. And it's Backrooms level 756, aka, quote, On Big Island live only one cow. End quote. Yes, that's exactly what it's called. Level 756 is classified as a class 0 difficulty, so it's pretty safe and you won't really have to worry about any entities except the cow. The level is split up into 8 different islands that are apparently floating in a void of fog and mist. And there are sometimes oak trees on the islands, but mainly they're just made up of grass and dirt. The island that's in the very middle of this cluster is actually smaller than a regular city block, and the rest of the islands surround it in a circular pattern, and they're all connected by these rope bridge things that you've all seen before. The first weird thing about this level, minus its name, is that there's a distorted sound of piano music being played constantly on the level from an unknown source. And no, it's not the cow. People who have actually been here say that the music calms them down, and they actually refer to it as relaxing and melancholic. Nice. There's even an account of a wanderer saying that the level makes all of your thoughts and memories of your real life fade away, and then the level overwhelms you with the feeling that you're just a small speck in the sea of existence. That's pretty weird, if you ask me. The level has no entities, except for that one single cow that lives in the middle island. The cow only notices people, it doesn't actually interact with them, and it never even moves from the spot it's in. It just stands there, in the same position, and looks at people. Some people have actually touched the cow, and they say that when they did that, an overwhelming sense of sadness washes over them. So Brugley says, don't touch the cow. There isn't a confirmed entrance to this level, but it is known that when people come here, it's sudden and quick and random. And most of the time, people who come here have been reportedly not right in the head before they were here. So spooky. And when people get here to exit, they typically just lay on the grass and eventually fall asleep, which then makes them wake up in their bed, feeling content with life and much happier. So yeah, I mean, it's a cool level. It's pretty weird, but it's cool. But it's really weird. The next level for today's video is level 409, aka the Paper Rooms. This level has a class 1 survival difficulty, and is relatively safe. The level is a massive expanse of rooms that are changing all the time, but are completely made out of paper. Like the paper you write on. The walls are literally just two pieces of paper thick. And this means that the walls themselves can easily be broken and are really fragile, so anyone can just tear them or rip them or do whatever they want to, it's just paper. The level is said to look kind of like level zero, but with slight differences in the wallpaper design and layout, but obviously the main difference is that the walls here can just be torn down by anybody. The ceiling on this level is actually a perfectly white void, that also emits a kind of light for the level. Apparently, the light's really bright. And the floor of this level is actually made out of cardboard, which is just barely more durable than the paper walls and can easily be torn into. And actually, if you break through the cardboard, you'll be able to see down into level 410. So that's pretty cool. This cardboard is actually a resource that's harvested for the base here called Fort Origami. Yep, that's right. The Paper Rooms has a base called Fort Origami. Creative. Fort Origami is the only big group here on level 409, and they're set up in a huge open area that they made by tearing down paper walls to have a huge open room. There's 19 people in the whole base, but there's actually a subgroup inside of this group that's about 6 people, and those 6 people travel around to different levels, searching for supplies and food to keep the entire 19 people alive. And they apparently chose to set up shop on this level to avoid the clutter of other levels. 
Based? The next group on this level isn't really a group, but it's a BNTG outpost. It's called BNTG Outpost Intercia, which is just a settlement set up by the BNTG group while they finish a full base here. It's located on the outskirts of the level and it houses supplies, weaponry, food, clothing, just you know, typical stuff. But it's like a temporary base until they get their full base up and going. There's actually one entity here, believe it or not, and it's called the Folds. These things are large pieces of paper that from far away look like crumbled up jumbles of paper. But when you get closer, you can see that each fold is deliberate and that it's not one piece of paper, it's individual cards. These cards no clip through each other and end up making non-Euclidean shapes, which is supposedly mesmerizing and even hypnotic in a way to people passing by because the cards themselves will slowly rotate and fold in on themselves and create this sort of hypnosis thing. The fold entity is completely harmless and they have been seen repairing the broken walls or floors on this level. And they've even been heard singing to wanderers as they pass by. That's right, singing. And on top of this, they're actually invincible because the paper that makes them up can heal itself when it's torn. So if you like tear a piece off of a fold, it'll literally just grow back instantly. So don't try to break one. To enter this level, you can find a set piece on level 104 that's made completely out of paper and you just go into that set piece and look away from the exit door and you'll be sent here. You can exit this level by a couple ways, one of them being breaking directly through the floor and jumping into level 410, or you can just go through a random door that'll open up to exit to level 1 or any other random level. Yeah, I think this is pretty weird. It's literally level 0 but made completely out of paper with a cardboard floor. I mean, that just seems creepy. So yeah, these were two of the weirdest backrooms levels that I came across over on the wiki dots. If you want me to go over a different level or another level, or if you think I missed one, let me know down below and I'll continue the series with those levels. But I did think that a level with a cow that doesn't move and lives on a floating island and a level that's made completely out of paper and cardboard are pretty weird. So hopefully you thought they were weird too. Thank you all for watching the video. Thank you for commenting and supporting me. And just thank you for everything. Comment Calgly if you're still listening to the video. That way I know you're listening. I'll heart your comment. Make sure you check out the links down below in the description if you're interested. Thank you to my patrons and channel members, as always, for supporting me a little bit extra. Get ready for the summer, guys. It's going to be awesome. The Brugly Summer Spectacular is going to be just epic. Hopefully you're ready. Go sub to my second channel, Toogly. Content is going to be up on there very soon. I recently got an editor, so it's going to be awesome. Thank you for everything, and I will see you later.